Crypto Activator here and welcome back to another basics video where I go over the basics of cryptocurrency and cryptocurrency investing. In this video, I want to go over Ethereum, the basics of Ethereum. Now again, this is not a long drawn out documentary regarding Ethereum with all the ins and outs. This is an introductory basics video of Ethereum. Many people have asked me, or people come to me with the question, why Ethereum? Why do we need another cryptocurrency to be competing with Bitcoin if we already have Bitcoin? Why are there, why is there so many different cryptocurrencies to choose from and invest in? Are they all competing for Bitcoin? The simple short answer is no, they are not competing to be Bitcoin. And why do we need one to, uh, as opposed to Bitcoin, such as why Ethereum over Bitcoin? Well, the answer again is it is not one or the other. They each have a different purpose for their use case. Which is why the very first video about cryptocurrency is about Bitcoin. Understanding cryptocurrency, you have to understand what is Bitcoin and what is the purpose behind Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a decentralized currency in order to, and payment system so that you can send currency from one person to another person it is a peer-to-peer -peer currency which no one entity has control over now when we're referring to and looking at ethereum ethereum is not just a currency but ethereum is a network a network that no one entity has control over so it is a decentralized blockchain. Whereas the blockchain that Bitcoin is running on, its purpose is just there for transparent, uh, transparency of transactions where all the transactions are recorded. It is an open source ledger. The Ethereum blockchain is something where you can actually build projects on. So let's get into this a little bit more in detail about Ethereum. Right now, looking at the price of Ethereum at this current date and time of recording this video, we are looking at Ethereum being worth $2,114 US value. That is the current value of Ethereum right now, okay? Let's go over to the website, ethereum.org. For more complete in-depth details and knowledge about Ethereum, I would recommend that you go over to this website, ethereum.org, and you can do some further intensive research regarding Ethereum. I encourage you to continue doing your own research when it comes to cryptographic currencies all right this is a short brief overview of ethereum so ethereum ethereum is it's is ethereum is a uh, it's a it's the community run technology powering cryptocurrency ether which is the native currency of ethereum the ethereum network okay so ethereum it houses thousands of decentralized applications and these are referred to as DApps, DApps, decentralized applications, smart contracts, okay, that no one entity has control over. I believe it's very important to have a small basic grasp of understanding of what Ethereum is before you really continue into the wide, vast space of cryptocurrency or cryptographic currencies. Because Ethereum is the network where many other crypto tokens 
and applications are being built on. And when you understand the purpose behind Ethereum, you will understand how and why other applications are actually working. Now, there are also other networks and blockchains in the cryptocurrency space that are working just like Ethereum. There are other new ones that have come out that are very similar, but Ethereum is the, just like Bitcoin is the grandfather, granddaddy, and the OG of cryptocurrency, I believe Ethereum to be the grandfather, granddaddy, uh, you know, the OG, the original one when it comes to the decentralized financial networks in the DeFi space and in cryptocurrency. Okay, so Ethereum was created so that a person or company, whoever, could actually come and create these applications so that anybody can use them and in decentralized finance. So in other words, we have Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a decentralized currency where no one entity has control over. Well, the founders, the CEO and the developers of Ethereum, the main one who is still there is Vitalik Buterin. He came up with the idea that says, hey, Bitcoin is great and everything. That is fantastic. We have a decentralized currency. But however, how about getting more into the world of decentralized finance with other financial products we need a network that is actually decentralized where we could come and build applications on where nobody is going to have control over those applications as well at the same time and then that is where the idea of ethereum came about and ethereum was then created so Let's get into this a little bit more exploring what is Ethereum. Here are just a few highlights that I wanted to mention regarding Ethereum. So Ethereum is basically banking for everyone. Not everyone has access to financial services, but all you need is access to Ethereum and it's lending, borrowing, saving products, is an internet connection. Uh, pretty much, uh, in a nutshell, what I'm saying is it's, it's decentralized finance and you have easy access to these sort of products just by being on the internet and accessing them as they are built on the network of Ethereum. Okay, so it's more private. You don't need to provide all your personal details to use an Ethereum app. Ethereum is built on an economy based value and there's no surveillance. Okay, so it's a peer to peer network. Ethereum allows you to move money or make agreements directly with someone. You don't need to go through an intermediary company. Okay, so just like I was mentioning over here, the, uh, the, the lending, the borrowing, the savings products that are normally built and provided for on central banking systems such as going to your bank that is a central network or central financial world in the DeFi decentralized finance these type of products are being built on a decentralized network such as ethereum okay that gives the average person access to them and nobody controls those products and those services once they are built okay so right here as you know in other words right here censorship resistance no government or company has control over ethereum this is decentralization it makes it nearly impossible for anyone to stop you from receiving payments or using these services on ethereum Okay, now, welcome to Ethereum. Ethereum 101, so to recap what I'm talking about here, Ethereum is a technology 
that lets you send cryptocurrency to anyone for a small fee. These fees are referred to as gas fees. Just like with Bitcoin, there are the miners fees. There is always a transaction fee. So there's the fee of being able to send and receive this cryptocurrency, Ethereum, to and from other people. That is one purpose of Ethereum. But it also powers applications that allow anyone to use and no one can take down. All right. That there is very important for you to understand this whoop, uh, this right here. It powers applications that everyone can use and no one can take down. This is true decentralized finance where you can build financial products for lending, borrowing, saving, all sorts of financial products, whatever you program them to do, and then anybody can use them. And when you have them on the Ethereum network, nobody can take them down because it's decentralized. Unlike a central bank that can close the doors, limit your access to an application or limit your access to a financial product, that cannot happen with Ethereum on the Ethereum network. Okay, so in the world's programmable blockchain, Ethereum builds on Bitcoin's innovation with some big differences. Like I said before, Bitcoin was created as a decentralized currency in order to send and receive money peer to peer and no one entity has control over that currency. Well, it stopped there. The Bitcoin blockchain, all it is there for is to be transparent and record the transactions. The Ethereum blockchain, the difference is, it doesn't just show transactions, but it is there to actually build a pawn where you can build these applications. You can do so much more on Ethereum. Ethereum is my favorite. I really like this. Okay. Now there are, like I said, there are other applications or not applicate other networks out there that are being built such to be or to be just like Ethereum. Okay, I don't believe in Ethereum killers. I don't believe that Ethereum is going to be the one that no one's going to ever take over Ethereum. Ethereum's going to be the one. And I don't and I'm not going to stand on saying, "Hey, this other network is going to kill Ethereum, take it over and it's going to be the one." I'm more one of those people that's going to stand and say, "Why not both?" They both can do very well. And I'm referring to other networks that are built for DeFi. A decentralized finance okay that's what I'm referring to but uh, ethereum it both lets you use digital money without payment you know or the I'm reading this right here the uh, the uh, Bitcoin and ethereum networks it both lets you use digital money without payment providers or banks but ethereum is a programmable so that you could also use it for lots of other digital assets okay as I was just describing to you, being able to build other applications, D apps, decentralized apps on the network and smart contracts. Okay. So like I'm saying, this means that Ethereum is more than just for payments. It's a marketplace of financial services, games and applications to, you know, to use. Okay. So now when it comes to ethereum i just wanted to show you down here this is a little bit more about what is being built on ethereum decentralized finance it's all about DeFi. so decentralized applications financial products getting into the DeFi world such as borrowing lending saving products uh, different accounting type of products that could be built all on the ethereum network this year you may have been hearing a lot about nfts non-fungible tokens 
those are being built on the Ethereum network, okay? Uh, DAOs, decentralized autonomous organizations are being built on the Ethereum network. And if you want to learn more about these, you can just click on each one of these and you can learn more about them, okay? As you see, this website is full of information for you to explore when it comes to Ethereum. And I recommend that when you come over to this website, come down here and check these out in more greater detail. So if you click on Decentralized Finance, DeFi, you're going to learn a lot about what is decentralized finance and why it is the future of finance. Okay, so you can watch this quick video. It's about a 15 minute video. Watch this video. You will learn more about DeFi versus traditional finance. Okay, get a very good idea regarding that. And then come back here, check out what are non-fungible tokens. Okay. Great videos explaining this in more detail. But that is what Ethereum is all about. And that's why I believe that Ethereum is the next step in learning about cryptocurrency, cryptographic currency. If you want to be an investor in cryptocurrency, it is important to learn about Bitcoin. And then it is important to learn about Ethereum so that you have a greater understanding of what the difference is between the two. Because once you understand Ethereum more in greater detail, you will understand how and why other products are being built on Ethereum and what those other currencies are. Instead of coming to yourself or to other people with the question is, well, what about that other currency? Why do I need that other currency compared to Bitcoin or Ethereum. In other words, all these other tokens. You will see several different tokens that are being built on Ethereum. And it's not just a currency, but it has a whole other purpose. And that's why they are tokens and not just coins. There are cryptocurrency coins and there are cryptocurrency tokens. And they on the Ethereum network, they are called ERC20 tokens. In other words, they are a token built on the Ethereum network. Okay, so this is a quick nutshell of what Ethereum is. I know it's gone into over 17, 18 minutes now of this video. And that's why I got to stop now because like I said, with Ethereum, you can go into talking about Ethereum for the next three days, about all the ins and outs of Ethereum. There's a lot going on in regards to Ethereum, a lot more than Bitcoin, okay? So I'm going to leave it here and I will see you in the next video.